there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Puerto Rico to tell you what you need to know before you come to Puerto Rico. And you may ask yourself, Mark, there are literally hundreds of miles of gorgeous beaches in Puerto Rico. Why are you standing in front of a baseball diamond to start this? Well, I'll be honest with you, baseball is the national pastime of Puerto Rico, and if you get a chance to go to a game when you're here, go. You will see the passion of baseball that Honestly, I haven't seen it in the U.S. for a long time, and you see it when you're here. So that's one thing. If you get a chance and there's a game, go do it, okay? But if you want to know, like, the tourist sites to go see when you're here, I think that's a good place to start with our what to know before you go. One thing I would say is the most popular place people go, because it is the capital, is San Juan, okay? When you go to San Juan, you really want to focus in old San Juan, the historic part. We have the El Moro, the, the castle on one side, and there's another San Cristobal castle on the other side of the old town. And what you have is El Moro is a smaller castle kind of complex to check out. San Cristobal is a much more massive complex. But in between, you have all these streets you can explore. You have all the museums you can visit in San Juan. There's Art Museum, Contemporary Art Museum, Museum of the Americas. There's so many things there. Going to the cathedral, it's beautiful. I mean, you have a lot to see in old San Juan. It's probably the most popular place for people to go and a lot of people that's all they see because the cruise ships come in there okay but old San Juan is definitely a must even if you're gonna be heading to the beach at least spend a day exploring old San Juan before you go out and hit back and and have a few uh, pina coladas and enjoy your time here okay another thing I think is really important for things you need to see and things you need to plan on when you're gonna come is going to some of the bioluminescent bays that are here there's actually three bioluminescent bays in Puerto Rico there's like five in the world if you're not sure what that is is. You know when they, the, the boat goes by and it glows and glitters in the back because of the algae that's inside of there? Yeah, that. They have three of them here. One, Laguna Grande, is in the northeast. That's probably the easiest one to get to if you're going to be doing, you know, staying in San Juan. About an hour and a half drive to get to it and go there. Or you can come in the southwest of the country. There's actually another one down there. And then you have out in, the, uh, in one of the islands, you have Mosquito Bay. That's the best one to go see. But the thing is, if you're going to go to them, remember, New Moon is the best time to go it shows up best but you want to check to make sure you can actually get a spot because you can kayak through them you can swim in them but a lot of times it's all set up by tours and if there's not a spot in the tour for you that can be a problem so definitely book that ahead when you're planning your trip to make sure you can kind of schedule around a good time to go now another thing that obviously when people come to Puerto Rico they want to go to are the beaches I mean it's an island there are hundreds of gorgeous beaches all over Puerto Rico so no matter where you're going if you're just driving around pull off, go up to the coast, go to the side of the coast, and just enjoy a beautiful beach, okay? Now, I will tell you, not all beaches are good for swimming. Some of them, like we were on the North Coast visiting beaches, and there's signs, not apt for swimming. So you wanna be careful with that, especially with little kids. You can go and chill out on the beach, but maybe don't go in the water, maybe just your ankles. Other parts, you're fine. Like in Rincon, you can go surfing and there's plenty of places to go. So just have a heads up, but there's beaches all over for you to enjoy. And when you do hit the beaches and go into this sea, I mean, you got the Caribbean, you got the Atlantic. So when you have all that water around, snorkeling, diving, deep sea fishing, heck, parts of the year you can do whale watching different, you know, here by Rincon. I mean, there's a lot of water and, and sea activities you can do when you're here. But if you want to do culture, there's a lot of small towns you can go around. So don't just take the 22 to the two to go from San Juan here to, to Rincon get off and see some of the small towns. Isabella is a nice little, you know, nice little town you can visit on the north coast. There's other ponds you can go down there. There's a lot of different towns you can see to kind of take in a bit of the culture when you're here, which is nice. But honestly, for me, Puerto Rico is about the nature and it's not just beaches. You have to realize is Puerto Rico has topography. There's ups and downs. There's places you can go hiking. There's cave systems you can go explore. Yeah, spur lunking kind of stuff. You can do that here. And for a nature lover, probably the most important place to go is El Yunque National Forest, where you can go hiking there, which is gorgeous. I will say, though, make sure you always stay on the path for your safety. That's something you really need to think about, okay? So those are some of the, like, tourist hot spots to visit when you're here. But there's, there's more of the guts of your travels, the infrastructure of your travel you need to know about before you come to Puerto Rico. And one, if you're looking at money, well, it's a U.S. territory, so the U.S. dollar is the currency here, and ATMs are all over, well, not all over, but there's enough ATMs that you don't have a problem getting cash out. Um, credit cards are widely accepted, MasterCard, Visa. I've had more issues with my American Express getting accepted here than other places, so that's one issue, I would say, if you're looking at what cards to bring. But I would have cash, because when you go around, you're going 
gonna see these kioscos. They're like outdoor huts or outdoor restaurant, more of an outdoor kiosk hut where you're gonna get your lechon, like the, the pork, where you're gonna get seafood, where you're gonna get drinks. Usually with those, cash is preferred and sometimes cash is all they take. So it's a good idea to have cash with you when you are here. And of course, when we're talking about money, we gotta talk about prices. Now, a lot of times I've looked online, people say, oh, Puerto Rico is cheap. Uh, no, it, Puerto Rico is not cheap, okay? I'm not saying it's expensive, but it's not cheap. If you're going to be in San Juan and just staying there, think about going out to eat. It's like taking your family out to eat in Chicago or, or LA or, or New Orleans. I mean, it, it's, it's not cheap. Okay, so think about that for San Juan. Now, if you go to other parts of the island, yes, the prices come down and it's more like middle America prices or middle European prices. It's not expensive, but it's not as cheap as people make it seem online. So I do wanna give you a heads up for that. And for the locals, it's a lot more expensive than it is for you or me, okay? So that's one of the reasons I think it's important when you're looking at prices, when you go out to eat, you do tip at the restaurants. 15 to 20 percent if you're going to one of the beach bars which are a lot of places you're gonna have a good time there you're getting a drink throw a dollar down for a tip for your drink when you do that tip your guides or if you're going to do surf lessons you know tip them as well if you go on a dive you want to do tipping because tipping is a thing here so you know that um another thing people like to know is this when they're coming to puerto rico i know it's a u.s territory but what about the language is it just spanish or can they speak english everywhere well look if you're going to be doing tourist stuff English will be fine. And, and if you're in San Juan, or if you're in anything tourist, they'll start with English with you because they'll look at you and go, you're not from here, we'll speak English. But Spanish is the language of Puerto Rico. And even if you don't speak Spanish, learn a few words before you come. And I'll be honest, these five ones will help you. Please, por favor, thank you, gracias, yes, si, no, no, and bathroom. Baño? <laughs> Those five words will get you so far. And the people here are very proud of their country and they want you to enjoy it. And they're gonna share things with you. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now, I did not get all the cool places to see and what to see in, in, in Puerto Rico. So please, locals, tell people where they should go. What should they see? What they should eat? What they should do in Puerto Rico? And go read the comments below because they will be super helpful because the people really are wonderful. And if you try to speak some Spanish and they switch to English, no problem, it will be greatly appreciated, okay? But if you don't speak Spanish, just no gracias and por favor and, and then English and you'll figure it out and they'll figure it out. And the people here really are wonderful. And I think that's another thing I want to talk about are the people when you come here. They are like mini tour guides. Like the people of Puerto Rico are very proud of Puerto Rico. You see the flags flying all over you see the pride all over and if you know, look in the comment section here anything we do on puerto rico we've never had more input before we came when we mentioned oh we're going to be going to puerto rico we got hundreds of messages from our fans and fellow travelers about what to see and do and that pride comes through so don't be afraid to ask people for help whether it's a place to eat or where to go or where not to go because that's one of the nice things about the people here because they are boisterous they are fun they are going they're loud they're just a wonderful part of coming to puerto rico okay so make sure you meet some locals when you're here even if it's just talking to your bartender at the bar now another thing i think people want to know about when they travel to puerto rico is safety you know is puerto rico safe and we actually have a whole video on safety things in puerto rico what to watch out for what you don't have to watch out for but i'll be honest puerto rico is a pretty safe place to visit um actually safer than a lot of the places to go in the states okay and if you come here the only issues i'm really going to tell you about with safety that's probably going to affect you is one the sun up there is going to beat down because it doesn't matter if you're hiking el yunque if you're going to be you know out on the water if you're going to be swimming if you're going to be enjoying like San Juan, old San Juan or wherever, that sun is going to get you. So make sure you layer up on the sunblock. You have your hat. I got a hat over here for me. But also have bug spray as well because the bugs can get you as well. But that's probably the biggest danger you have is the elements here. Now, I do have to tell you, hurricane season here is from June to November. So you do want to watch out, okay? Because... <sighs> Puerto Rico has been hit. Maria did horrible damage here in Puerto Rico. And I'll be honest how they've come back. You're like, this is so awesome to see like the people, the spirit of the people coming back out and coming through. It's, it's amazing. But during hurricane season, you do need to pay attention. And I guess, you know, if you're in San Juan, I mean, you know, pickpockets in the old town, maybe don't go to La Perla, which is right near the old town, the, the colored buildings down there. Like that would be some safety stuff. But in general, honestly, Puerto Rico is a safe place to go. You know, whether you're a family, whether you're a solo traveler, solo female traveler, LGBTQ, this is a pretty safe place to go. So I, I don't have any worries about that. Like, I would have no problem sending my nieces and nephews to come here, my kids to come here. I wouldn't have any problem with that, okay? Now, the next thing you want to think about is what to pack. 
pack when you come here. Look, it's an island. It's chillax time. It is light colored clothes. Stay away from black and brown and stuff like that because the sun makes it too hot. Okay, so light colors, t-shirts and shorts, swim trunks, have those. Have your flip flops, bring your sunblock, your hat, your bug spray. It, honestly, you might want to bring some of the beach stuff you got kids because you can buy all the beach stuff here It's just a little more expensive because it is it's an island I mean island prices happen But if you want to help out the economy buy it here and you can get everything here You know, I mean you I mean I can get swim trunks my size here, which I don't always get when I travel the world So that's really cool um, But honestly one thing I would say is also pack like one nice shirt and one nice pair of shorts or one nice pair of pants because if you're going to go out to dinner especially if like an old san juan they have nicer restaurants and and you'll notice that people don't wear their bikinis to go have dinner okay so have something at least one outfit that's kind of nicer i'm not saying suit and tie but i'm just saying you know have a nicer maybe a college shirt for a guy maybe a sundress for a woman and you'll be fine now how are we going to get around Puerto Rico? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, forget public transportation. It's non-existent or basically non-existent, okay? You're going to need to rent a car when you're here. That is just the way it is. Now, you can arrange drivers to take you between cities, okay? So you can do that. I mean, honestly, when you fly into the airport in San Juan, they actually have standard fares for a taxi to take you to different parts of the country. So you could use that if you're just going to stay like in Rincon or you're just going to stay in Ponce. Like, you can do that, right? But... I'll be honest with you, to see those little hidden beaches and to go to the, the caves and see this, do all these things, you need to rent a car. And I'm gonna tell you, make sure you're renting your car before you come here. Like, you're booking your plane tickets, book your car then, because you wanna make sure you actually get a car. Because when we were booking, I mean, a lot of the rental agencies were already booked out. We went with Enterprise and did find something, and they had something for us that was nice. But if you're looking on the weekends or like spring break kind of times, those, those car rentals can really disappear quickly. Now, if you're just going to be staying in old San Juan or, or in the San Juan area, you can do taxis and Ubers. That's not really a problem. You can arrange your drivers. That's easy enough. But outside, again, you got to rent your car. And when you're driving around, I will warn you, the speed bumps here will like not break your, they're not cable to coast. It's not back breakers, but they're definitely like bonk your head on the top of your car if you're going too fast. So you do need to pay attention for that. And the cops will pull you over if you're speeding. I will let you know that one. Oh, and if you do get a ticket, you're going to have to go to the town you got the ticket in. You have to go to their town hall and there'll be a place where you go pay. Expect to spend some time waiting there. They're always very nice and very professional, but just know you're going to have to pay. Okay. And it's going to be in town. And the thing is, if you're a U.S. citizen, remember your, your driver's license work here. Here. it's pretty simple my insurance for my my company in the u.s works here as well so i was fine with that um i will say when you're driving around do be careful because it's definitely much more offensive driving here so you might want to be a bit more defensive always be paying attention i mean i would put the gps coordinates in before you start driving so everything's set up versus like trying to do it while you're dealing with all the traffic and if you could avoid driving at old san juan i would do that like what we did we flew in got a taxi into old san juan stayed there for a few days then we had arranged with that taxi driver to come pick us up a few days later he brought us back to the airport we got our car there and then we went exploring okay that can be a nice way to do it another thing about transportation you need to know if you want to get out to some of the islands because Puerto Rico isn't just one island it's an archipelago there's there's multiple islands if you want to go to Mosquito Bay to see those bioluminescence yes there is a ferry that goes out there but most likely you're going to fly there from San Juan you're going to fly there so you have that option so there's domestic flights as well to get out to the islands um I think another thing people like to know is about accommodation. Where are you gonna stay? There are plenty of hotels that are here, but there's also a lot of apartment rentals that you can get. And and that's what we've done because it helps save money because you can go to the grocery stores, buy, eat breakfast at the you know apartment and then save up that way. But honestly, there's a lot of options out there. Now, there's not a lot of like, chain hotel options like if you're in mainland us you have you know all the holiday inns you have the ramadas you have all those things everywhere here it's more local hotels and local setups so you will have to search a bit more but there is a lot but i will say this book your accommodation as early as possible because then you're guaranteed to get something in the part of town you want to be in like we stayed literally behind the town hall in san juan it was perfect location but we also booked it six months in advance so something to kind of think about when you're looking for your accommodation oh also if you're staying in like an apartment building um one thing you need to realize is the doors don't always open directly there might be a little button to get out you have to push the exit button and then it will unlock the door for you to get out 
Now, in your accommodation, you might want to know some of the basics. Like, what are the plugs like? The plugs here in Puerto Rico are like the US plugs, okay, that three prong plug. We have that. If you're looking for Wi Fi and cell coverage, if you're coming from the US, congratulations, your cell phone carriers work here as well. You have that, so you'll have your data, you have your phone calls. I will say, though, don't expect to have your cell service everywhere, especially if you're like right on the coast or one of those kind of hidden beaches or you're driving inland. Sometimes you don't get a very good signal, so you might be able to make a call, but you might not be able to send like the pictures of the beautiful places you are so have a heads up for that in terms of Wi-Fi at accommodations we've been at and the restaurants we stayed at it's fine it, it works fine we haven't had any problems we usually we've had like two Netflix is going at night and I'm working at the same time no big deal so you'll be connected no problem when you're here now another important thing whenever you travel is know what time zone you're in and here we're actually in the Atlantic time zone which as a traveler I kind of compare it like this it's like the Eastern time zone but without daylight savings time ish technically it's one hour ahead but a lot of times you're the exact same time as Eastern time in the US just to give you a heads up you might want to check to make sure your phone should auto adjust when you're here but that is one thing to know now another thing people ask about is service when they go to a country and the thing is service here in Puerto Rico I will tell you this remember island time is island time so you need to have patience when it comes to service so food drinks might take a little bit longer but it will get there. But just make sure you order a side of patience when you're going to the restaurants. And then I think I need to talk about my favorite part of coming to Puerto Rico, the food. Look, we have a whole video on the eats of Puerto Rico. It's on Jocelyn's channel. Just go there and we have a full thing. But I want to give you some of the highlights. What you have to realize is plantains are a thing here, okay? Plantains, is you know, like, like bananas, okay? And you'll have it in different forms. You have tostones, which they'll take these plantains, chop them up, fry them, smash them, then fry them again. Oh, so good. You have that as a starter. Or you can just have like a normal like fried banana chopped up and fried. That's really good. But the biggest one, the biggest plantain thing you're going to see is with mofongo. And mofongo is the, the plantains and it's fried, smashed, put together. And you'll see it like a bowl or you'll see it like a dome kind of thing. And they'll put, you know, either, you know, pork or they'll put steak or they'll put uh, camarones, uh, shrimp in there, fish in there. There's all kinds of stuff. But mofongo is this plantain kind of bowl thing I, I don't know how to explain it it's just it's just really wonderful and it's really the food the most popular food here in puerto rico and if you go any place where tourists are they will have mofongo on the menu get whatever you know meat kind of filling or stew you want with it and you'll enjoy it okay but obviously we're here on an island the seafood here whether you're getting i've had an excellent stuffed red snapper grouper uh shrimp oh my god so many good seafoods you can have when you're here and i know seafood is a thing here but for me the tastiest 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 to get when you're here is lechon asado if you're not sure what lechon is it's roasted suckling pig and if you're lucky you'll see some of these kioscos these little kiosk things i was talking about you'll see those out there and they'll have a roasted pig out there like on a spit you want that and yes you buy it by the kilo and you want to eat it by the kilogram because it's so good and there's actually a ruta de lechon de lechon there's actually a you know a pork highway like for tourists to go on but not just tourists locals go and have that and you might not be able to get lechon asado you might just see what's called pernil which is like pork butt you can get some of that when you're there um, i had that with my mofongo so good so good but also there's all kinds of little snacky dudes you can have little frituras little fried things that are out there little like you'll see a lot of bakeries around here and you want to go and grab some stuff from the bakeries whether it's a quesito which is like a like it looks like a cannoli with some cheese inside that's really good or or uh, empanada, empanada dias, which are empanadas, basically are like the, the half moon shaped pastry stuffed with meat or chicken or, or side one mixed seafood. Oh, so good. You can get vegetable ones. That's great. But there's all these little great snacks you can get at bakeries around the island. That's fantastic. Drink wise, yes, you can drink the water here. And when you go to restaurants, they'll always give you water when you're there, which is nice. But I see a lot of people just buy bottled water as well. So you can get that. All the stores have bottled water, so you can do that. But you can do tap water. It's okay. Make sure you stay hydrated because of that sun, okay? But some of the other stuff, uh, Madaya is the beer, the main beer here. India is another Puerto Rican beer you can have. Um, but, you know, rum, Bacardi, you know, like rum is a thing here in Puerto Rico. And this is the birthplace of the Pina Colada. So get a Pina Colada when you're here. And you, if you don't drink rum, it's okay you can get pina coladas without rum the thing is there's just so many great things you can have here pasteles i mean there's just there's just so much good food you're gonna have so when you come 
enjoy the nature, enjoy the people, and enjoy the food. And I hope this helps you know a bit more of what to expect when you come here to Puerto Rico, because we've got videos on safety in Puerto Rico, the don'ts of Puerto Rico, the don'ts of Rincon, the don'ts of San Juan. But let's be honest, they're mostly dudes. Anyway, I wish y'all the best. I'll say bye from here in Puerto Rico.